What's up, Centennial? I'm your host, Riley Doherty. And I'm Evelyn Honeycutt. And, and you're, you're watching, watching episode 15, 15 of The Loft. This week, we have a very special episode. All about giving thanks. Without further ado, nice camera action. Centennial is Slasher with your Thanksgiving weekly announcements. On Monday, Georgia Hip was named Centennial's Career Tech Student of the Year. Congrats, Georgia. Seven of our student films were submitted to STN, so good luck to all the films that were submitted. That's all for this week. Have an amazing Thanksgiving break and eat lots of turkey. We'll see you when we get back. Go night. Where's the turkey? Carson was supposed to bring the turkey! Hey guys, I brought the pie. What? So guys, what are y'all thankful for? You know guys, I'm thankful for everyone here, except for Carson. You know what? You're right. Carson forgot the turkey. You know what? I've had enough! Good morning, Knights. Another thing to be grateful for are the cooler weathers coming in, with it being partly cloudy Friday with a high of 50 and a low of 34. To start your break, Saturday it will be windy with a high of 51 and a low of 36. For Sunday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 43. Go Knights! Hey, Centennial Knights, all of you students, amazing students, faculty, and staff. 
I want to wish all of you in the next week a really happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate, for those of you who are just enjoying some time off, I hope it is a great vacation. It's been a phenomenal semester here in the Centennial United community, and I want to thank each and every one of you for your part in making that happen. For our students, for devoting yourselves to the things that we ask you to do day in and day out and working with your teachers, for the phenomenal teachers and faculty and staff for everything you've done to support these incredible students that we get the opportunity to work with, and even our community for spoiling us and supporting us in all the things that we do. Really appreciate everything you all have done to make this a tremendous semester. But wait, when we get back from Thanksgiving break, we have a fast and furious three weeks. We got three weeks of work, of important and critical things to do, including your final exams and projects and the last couple of assignments that you may have to do, it is high time to make sure that you come back rested, relaxed, and ready to grind out these important couple of weeks. In the meantime though, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you enjoy your break, and as always, go Knights! Do they have any living turkeys? I'm, lo I'm looking for turkeys. Have you seen any turkeys in here? Like made turkeys or? Like, 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 do y'all have any living ones? No, none like out of the woods? Alrighty, thank you. Have a good one. plus for a turkey man come on you, you know that's absurd and we hope you in, are enjoying the loft <coughs> gobble God, man, I am so stuffed, but now that we're done with this dinner, I'm so thankful that y'all can be here. Man, James, I couldn't agree more. I'm so thankful for y'all, but I'm also pretty full, and uh, I don't really want that last roll. Do y'all want it? Nah, you guys got it. I'm good. Nah, I'm good, man. I swear if they take that roll, I'm going to be so mad. Man, I'm just dying to have that roll right now. Actually, I'm pretty hungry. I might go for it. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I am thankful. I'm thankful. I am extremely thankful. I am thankful for the ability to travel. Spending time with friends and family. My wonderful family, positive work relationships, and my wonderful students. My kids' bright smiles. For family and the ability to affect 
students. For my family, my husband, and my two children, I love them dearly. They make my life very sweet. Friends and family. It's Jesus Christ, and Jesus loves me. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys, we're here in front of Manny's room, and we're going to ask him if he would like to be Manny on the street. Let's go. Hey, um, so we're here with Mr. Manny. Mr. Manny, would you like to do Manny on the street this week? Absolutely. I'm not doing anything important right now. Doug, go stand in the corner, Blair Witch style. Uh, Butler, you're in charge. Anna, don't you dare. Don't you dare. There's no doorbell. Shh, Everyone calm down. It's just me. Most underrated Thanksgiving side dish. Go. Collard greens. I'm sorry. Uh, question, Thanksgiving, why? Thanksgiving, why? For a dollar. To spend time with friends and family and to figure out why you're thankful for the life that you've been given. Mm. The correct answer was, it's not good because the, uh, the colonists destroyed uh, the Indians' lives. Hey, the thing's this unplugged. Is, uh, the thing's unplugged. The, this is, it's not even real. It's actually chocolate on the inside. If you could be any Thanksgiving side dish, which side dish would you be? There's so many. It had to be the homemade macaroni and cheese. Makes sense. Because you're so creamy. A sweater out of stuffing. Uh, the correct answer was the pilgrims uh, eradicated all of the Indians. Right, shh, shh, shh. What, do, what do we think, what do we think that Timothy Chalamet is doing for Thanksgiving? Uh -huh. Any more context to who that is? <sighs> it's Wonka. <laughs> He's from Dune. <laughs> Mr. Hey. Mr. Jacoby, everybody. Hey, hey uh, with uh, Thanksgiving, what do you feel is the worst? <coughs> Dr. Von B, everybody. Um, turkey dressing. This is, this is what we pay uh, public educators to do? Come on, guys. What do you think Mark Wahlberg is doing right uh, not Not right now, but for Thanksgiving? Writing a crappy movie. What do you think Timothy Chalamet eats for Thanksgiving? Excellent. We, we're going to get a picture of you. No, we're not. And <laughs> we're going to ask three students if they who you are. How many of those three students will get that correct? Three. One. I'd say one out of three. All right. I'd say one out of three. I'm going to go with hopefully all three, but probably just one. Ooh. Probably zero. Ooh. Get her picture. That sad, sad picture. <laughs> all of them. All three? Mm -hmm. Three for three, baby. Take your picture. <laughs> nobody, nobody asked you a question. This. More public educators just standing around. If you... <laughs> Miss Barifato. I don't know. Are you with me so far? Now, we got a, a half of a point from someone that wasn't asked the question. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Mm, 0 for 3, Shapiro. 0 for 3. I don't know. Oh, boy. Miss Sane? Miss Sane! That is correct. I have no idea. Miss Waldman. Ooh, Waldman. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, you would know. Oh, 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 uh, it's like Waldman or something? Is it Waldman? That is correct. It yes. is well known. Go, like, let's see if people know who you are. So walk into frame saying that. That's Manny on the street here. Every, at any time, you can. Okay. That's it, Manny. That's, wait, what is it? Just, that was, uh, that's Manny on the street. Thanks for watching. Anytime, anytime. Just cut me off. That was. Let's see if kids know who you are. Excuse me. Do you know who this is? Yeah. Who is it? No, that is Ryan Reynolds. It's so close. <laughs> Do you know who this is? No. Oh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. It's Ryan Gosling. Oh, I got no clue. Isn't it like Jake Ryan Gilman. Reynolds? Jake Chill. <laughs> Isn't it Ryan Reynolds? So close. Is Ryan anybody... Gosling. There it Ryan is. Gosling. Face the centennial, baby. Face the centennial. Butler, can I leave the corner yet? No. Today we're gonna be asking people what they're thankful for and why. Let's go. Who am I here with today? Ford. And what are you thankful for and why? I'm thankful for food, because you know, it never disappoints. Yeah, I love food. Thank you. Who am I here with today? 
I'm Jariah Bob Gray. And what are you thankful for and why? Um, I'm thankful for this year's musical coming up, Legally Blonde, and it's because I got a role in it and I'm excited, so let's go. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Oh, Hassan. And what are you thankful for and why? I'm thankful for my family because uh, they always support me. Who am I here with today? Rose. And what are you thankful for and why? I'm thankful for my family because they support me and love me. Who am I here with today? Landon Bounds. And what are you thankful for and why? I'm thankful for my family and Sydney Faulkner. And I like my family because we have a good time at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you. Who am I here with today? Jeremy Zayas. And what are you thankful for and why? I'm thankful for my teachers because they help me learn and they're going to help me graduate. Thank you. I think turkey is better because it's more traditional and ham just too sweet. Um, I say ham because turkey, even though it's like very traditional and it's like that's the main like dish of Thanksgiving, I think it's really dry and honestly like really bad, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go with ham because I don't really like turkey like that unless it's like cooked. Like you know there's like a difference between cooked and like regular, I don't know if y'all know the difference. But yeah, like, I'm going to go with ham. I'm gonna go with pecan pie because I just like pecans for some reason. My grandmother likes them a lot and there's a lot around the house so I eat them. I like pumpkin pie because ever since I was a kid, I just really like pumpkin pie. Pecan pie kind of looks like mulch. Um, I would say pumpkin pie because pecan pie, I don't really like, pe <laughs> like pecans because they taste like really bad. I don't, I don't like the texture of pecans. I like mac and cheese more because sometimes mashed potatoes are just really dry and ever since I was a kid, mac and cheese has always just been there for me. Um, I love mac and cheese because it's so creamy and cheesy and I love like when on the top the cheese is like crispy and like melted perfectly. This one's easy, I'm gonna go with mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are way better, 100%. I don't like mac and cheese, never ate it. Not even when I was a kid, absolutely hate it. Thank you, bye. This is insane. <laughs> Centennial basketball team has a home game against St. Francis. It's a blowout. Be there and show up. What's up, Knights? I just got some news. The basketball season is upon us. Make sure you sit in the student section, show up and show out, and be loud at the basketball games to encourage our Knights. Right, come back in. Right. Three, two. <laughs> My name's Ada. Um, I row at St. Andrew Rowing Club and I just signed to row D1 at the University of Rhode Island. I've been rowing six years overall and two years at St. Andrews. My favorite memory is probably going to regionals with the club. Um, it, was, it was really cool and we won the points trophy which was an amazing experience. I really love the community about rowing and how we're able to cheer each other on and then also be competing against each other in the same day. Go Knights! My name's Sophia Lickman. I'm going to the University of Arkansas for swimming. I've been swimming for 11 years. My favorite memory of swimming at Centennial has been states last year when the girls relay made it back for finals. My favorite things about swimming are being able to challenge myself and my competitors around me. I would like to say to my coaches at Centennial, thank you for supporting me and helping me get through moving to a new school and challenging me in the events I swim. Go Knights! Hey, my name is Mary Grace Towery, but I go by MG. 
I'm going to Kennesaw State University to play lacrosse, and I'm a goalie there. I started in second grade. My favorite memories, um, probably watching my dad play goalie. I really wanted to be him when I was younger. Uh, my favorite things about playing in Centennial are the teammates and bonding with them, as well as the coaches and how they specialize in position work. Uh, to Trey Towery, thank you for being the best head coach and my dad. Uh, to Coach Stack, thank you for warming me up and giving me your pep talks and sending your motivational speeches in the group me. And to Coach Lang, thank you for working us hard. Go Knights! I'm Grayson Strompus, and I'm committed to the University of West Georgia. I started playing baseball when I was like four. Um, my favorite memory at Centennial was sophomore year, the bus ride back from Chattahoochee when we found out we won region. My favorite thing is definitely the teammates and the practices and hanging out and just having fun. I want to thank Coach Kirkland for all the extra time he puts in and all the extra work he allows us to get when we want it. And I'd like to thank Coach Nelson for all the hitting advice and Coach Horton, even though he was here for a short time, he was a lot of help. Go Knights! Hello and welcome back to week 15 of CSP. I'm your host, Len Braun. I'm Matthew Braunet, and let's get into it. We have another sports recap as Mike Tyson returned to the ring for the first time in a long time to face Jake Paul at at and Stadium. Everybody and myself expected Mike Tyson to dominate, but the age definitely started to show during the fight, which ended with a Jake Paul unanimous win. The Atlanta United soccer team beat Inter-Miami to move on in the MLS playoffs and will play Orlando City in the conference semifinals. The Centennial Knights boys basketball team fell short in the last two games, but they are back in action tonight at 6 o'clock against St. Francis. The theme is blowout and come support the boys. Yesterday was college signing day for four of our student athletes. Let's head over to Cami G who interviewed their parents. What's up Centennial Knights? This is Cami G reporting from signing day. We will now hear from the signees' parents. All right, what is your guys' name? What's your student name and where are they committing? My name is Liz Towery. Uh, and I'm Trey Towery. Our student is Mary Grace Towery, and she is committing to Kennesta State University. My name is Dylan Welch, and my daughter is Ada Welch, and she's signing with the University of Rhode Island for crew or rowing. I'm Colin, and um, this is... I'm Chris. <laughs> and Grayson is our son. I'm Phil Lickman. Our daughter is Sophia Lickman, and she is signing with the University of Arkansas for swimming. Oh. And I'm Michelle Lickman. Um, what was the journey like? What steps did you guys take in order for her to get here? Yeah, so MG uh, really turned a corner. She started playing lacrosse um, when she was eight years old. She played rec ball, and then um, during COVID, she really grinded it out and um, turned into a Division One athlete. He played multiple sports, and he always drove the direction of what he wanted to do, and he's really self-driven, so our job was just to support him and help him get to where he wanted to be. And what would be a message that you guys would like to say? We're super proud of you. And just stay positive and keep, you, keep up the hard work. Want to just tell her that I'm, I couldn't be more proud as a dad. I wished I had the, the wherewithal and the, the strength to do what she's done and, and the hard work that she's put in. And I just wanted to, to tell her to just keep pushing and be the amazing kid that she is and don't let anything change that. And um, just grow up to be the most fabulous human being that you can possibly be and do good in the world. We love him and we're very proud of him and excited for him. and. And we're looking forward to the next steps. Sophia, we are so proud of you. Uh, we couldn't be prouder. I wish I wasn't tearing up. And go Hogs! As we head into Gobble Gobble season, we have a couple more sports picks for you, including a Thanksgiving night football game. My record is now 18 and 13. And my record is 19 and 12. For our first game, we have number five Indiana taking on the number two ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. All right, I'm going to go with Indiana this week. I'm not a big fan of Ohio State, so I'm going with Indiana Hoosiers, even though they did beat Michigan a couple weeks ago. I think they take this one on the road and really show who they are. 
Even though they're undefeated, I don't think Indiana wins this one. They haven't had many tough matchups. Once again, Michigan, not that good of a team, not an impressive win. So I think Ohio State wins this one. Next, we have the number 19 Army taking on Notre Dame, ranked at number six. I'm taking Army. I don't think either team has played much great competition, but I think Army, this is their first real test, and I think they prove that they are this undefeated, really good team. I'm going with Matthew's idea. I'm picking Army this week. Notre Dame, an independent school, they get to pick whoever they want. I think this is a bad pick for them. Army has been really well this year. I think they show who they really are and why they're undefeated. Now heading over to the NFL where we have the Ravens taking on the Chargers on Monday Night Football. I'm going with the Chargers this week. I'm a big fan of Jim Harbaugh as he went to Michigan. That defense has really turned around this year. Justin Herbert is looking like a good quarterback. I think they get a good win on Monday Night Football against the Ravens. Even though the Chargers and Justin Herbert looked really good last week and the Ravens didn't look so hot, I'm taking the Ravens to take a bounce back week, and I think Derrick Henry continues his touchdown streak. The Dolphins are going on the road at Lambeau to take on the Packers on Thanksgiving night. Who do you got, Matthew? I'm sticking with my Dolphins. They looked great last week. I think they're finally starting to put the pieces together. I think Tua and Tyreek will continue their connection, and I think they have a great game. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers this week. I need Jordan Love to ball out for my fantasy team. I need to make the playoffs this week. I'm going with the Packers. Well, that's it for Week 15. We'll see you guys next week for Week 16 at CSPN. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Law of Centennial. We hope you guys all have a great, safe Thanksgiving break. And, and we'll, we'll see you all when we come back. Go Knights!